Welcome to Truth by Dreams. We're glad you stopped in. Hi, I'm Joseph Burnsworth, your host and facilitator. I like to get right to the point of what Truth by Dreams is all about. We are a society of spiritual educational experiences. We're committed to the following. One, we're committed to speaking that which was revealed by Spirit to the prophets and the apostles as recorded in the 66 books of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Two, we're committed to not judging any person based on their life's decisions, belief system, economic status, race, sex, or religious preference, and or choice of worship. Three, we're committed to conducting ongoing classes, seminars, and workshops of the scriptures throughout the year and web-based technology for webcasting and teleconferencing. Four, we're committed to not adding to what is written in the scriptures of the prophets. This means our teachers are committed not to give their opinion of what they think the scriptures mean. Five, we're committed to teaching what truth is only by what is written. Six, we're committed to allowing the scriptures to interpret the parable stories. Seven, each of our teachers are committed to speak the truth in their part of what they know and understand by what the Spirit has enlightened them in, and our teachers will not extend or go beyond their part of truth. What we believe. First, we believe the scriptures are divinely inspired by God, found in 2 Timothy 3.16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And 2 Peter chapters 1 verses 20 and 21. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, as the Spirit gave the utterance. Secondly, we believe the interpretation of the scriptures belongs to God. Thirdly, we believe the truth is the Word of God. We find this in Psalms 119, 160. Thy Word is true from the beginning. And Gospel of John 17 and 17. Thy Word is truth. Fourthly, we believe the application of truth is when the interpretation of a dream or vision is made known to you. Interpretation is needed because dreams and visions come in parable stories. We find this in the example of the book of Daniel in reference to his visions in chapter 7, verse 16. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all of this. So he told me and made known the interpretation of the things, Daniel's visions and dreams. Fifthly, we believe the doctrine of Christ is revealed in the parables of Christ, found in Mark chapters 4, verses 2 and 3. And he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. Our teaching references are the writings of the prophets and the apostles. As the scripture teaches, they wrote what they heard and saw in the spirit by prophecy, dreams, and visions. Our seminar format is that we offer an open forum for class discussions. We also host a question and answer time in each one of our seminars and, or series that we offer. I recall a conversation I had with the lady, her name was Debbie, just about three years ago concerning a dream she had. She told me that she had never told anyone and had kept it to herself for almost eight years. I asked if she had shared this with at least friends or close family, even perhaps her pastor or someone in church leadership. She was too afraid to tell anyone, she said, because she thought that they might think that she had a mental disorder. Well, she felt at liberty to tell me the dream after I had told her about Truth by Dream Society. Her dream was the story of a woman caught in adultery, which is found in the book of John, chapters 8. She watched as the scribes and Pharisees found reason to accuse her, this woman, and brought this woman to Jesus to see what he would do. She was brought into prophecy, so I asked her what else occurred in the dream. She replied, Well, nothing more or less than what we read in John. So I inquired further to find the meaning of the dream. I asked, Well, Debbie, what did you just know and understand of this parable as it was being shown to you in the dream? Well, she knew exactly, and she had a right answer. She immediately said, The woman is the church. Although in the writings here on John 8, 
There is no mention of who the woman is representing. Yet the Spirit revealed this to Debbie while she was watching this in the dream. However, before I received it as a truth, I searched in other writings to see if the Scripture confirmed this understanding. And sure enough, I found in the writings of Paul, in Ephesians chapters 5, he refers that the woman is the body of Christ, she's the church, and she is the wife. And in the vision of John, Revelations 21 and 9 and 10, And there came unto me one of the seven angels, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. We answer questions here at Truth by Dreams by what is written. Let's consider, for example, these subjects in Scripture language. Who is God? What is the seed? What is heaven? What is the earth? Well, our answer to who is God would be found in John 3.33, God is true. Or John 4.24, God is a spirit. Or 1 John 1 and 5, God is light. Or 1 John 4 and 8, God is love. We could also answer who is not God by giving out to you Numbers 23 and 19, that God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Or Matthew 22, 32, God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Or 1 Corinthians 14, 33, for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Another example of how we teach, let's take the question, what is the seed of God? Well, we would answer what the seed is by what the scriptures actually say. And teach in Luke and in Mark, and we find this in Luke chapters 8, verse 11. Now, the parable is this the seed is the word of God. He's referring to the parable of the sower of the seed, which we pick up also in Mark 4 14, that the sower soweth the word. So, in comparing these gospels, we learn that the seed is the word of God, and it's, it's in the parable that is spoken. How about the subject of heaven and earth? We would answer by the book of Isaiah, found in Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. What is heaven? The thoughts and ways of God. What is the earth? The thoughts and ways of man. So in closing, if Truth by Dreams Society resonates with you, and you would like more information, feel free to visit us on our website. We will also have a list of lesson plans which you can download for your personal Bible study. We invite you to participate in our next scheduled class. We keep our class schedule posted on our website at www.truthbydreams.org. Here at Truth by Dreams, we hope to meet you soon in our next scheduled class. Join us as we together discover how the spirit of truth operates within the spirit of our minds.